What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna guide you about coming soon pages and show how to design one. As you can see here, we have a coming soon page in our Nectar Visual Model WordPress team and we're gonna explain how to create that page without a use of any extra plugins. Only the plugins that you gain with your Visual Model WordPress teams. As you can see here, we have a site that is under creation and we need to hide the site. So any site visitor can view a coming soon page instead of a not completed page layout. So let's get started by going to your WordPress dashboard, page, add new. Let's call this page as coming soon in the page title and using the backend editor on WP Bakery page builder, we're gonna add some elements. Let's start with a raw and add a columns layout in this raw. One with offset. In the bigger column, add some test, some content. By clicking in the plus button inside the column, we're gonna add the single element, call it single image, to upload the site logo or any other image that you want. For example here, I'm gonna use the visual model logo. Let's align this to the center. Now, by clicking in the plus button, we're gonna use the Ultimate Add-on plugin element called Countdown. We already have a guide in this channel about WordPress countdown element usage, and I'm gonna leave the link in the description below and a card over here. In the countdown settings, we're gonna select the date. And now select time units to display in the countdown timer. Seconds, minutes, hours, and days. Just that, let's keep it simple. But as you can see, you can edit every single part that you want. As we can see, the site logo, a text description, and the counter. But I would like to add the, some social networks icons. And to do that, we're gonna use the with get sections. We will add the with get that sidebar and call the sidebar tab first extra with get. Save change. And in this we did get, we need to apply something. So let's go to WordPress dashboard appearance widgets and add something in the first extra widget, the visual model social icons, aligning to the center and add the network entire URL. I'm gonna use this symbol just to apply the widget, but make sure that you add the entire URL, the link. Let's preview. Perfect. Now, 
let's add something in the background. I'm gonna use the gradient background. We already have a guide in our YouTube channel explaining how to use gradient backgrounds in your RAW and I'm gonna leave the link in the description below and a card over here as well. Now, let me make this raw full widget and a full H raw so it can occupy the entire screen. We are getting closer, but we need to hide the header menu, the navigation menu and the footer. How to do that? In the layout manager, into page options, we can select no. So the page only display the content in the page body area. As we can see, we have a simple and clean coming soon page template. Let me publish this page. And now we need to set this page to be the site home or front page into WordPress dashboard settings reading. A static page, home page coming soon. So if anyone go to the main site, it will load the coming soon page that you made. In the case that you want a custom plugin to do that, we're gonna create a new guide only for WordPress coming soon plugins usage. But as you can see, we have a lot of plugins and options, so you can create yours in other methods. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question, and I see you later. All the best!